For ACUSports.com, Grant Boone with head women's basketball coach Julie Goodenough. Her team big over Howard Payne, 88-46. to Coach, uh, they played hard, I thought, the first half. Howard Payne did. Then you pulled away in the second half. Why? Uh, you know, I, we, we expected Howard Payne to come in and play really hard like they did. Um, their coach does a great job. They're a really scrappy team. Uh, we anticipated them pressing uh, just so they wouldn't have to guard our half-court sets and, um, you know, try to get matched up. And they did a great job with their press. I mean, it really got us out of sync offensively. I thought our team did a great job coming out of the locker room, making good adjustments in the second half. We picked up our defensive intensity, forced them into some turnovers that turned out to be a good early offense for us. So um, I was proud of the way the players responded in the second half and played a lot better defense. Career high 25 points for Sarah Williamson. It was really encouraging to me, at, at least, to see her make a couple of threes and to go seven of eight from the free throw line. How important do you think that is for her to just see the ball go in? Now, absolutely. And she's she's been putting in a lot of extra time on her threes, and she's building confidence. Week, did you say? She made 800, 800 this week. This week. Um, and so she she's gaining confidence with that. And um, we're our team as a team, we're not getting to the free throw line as much as we need to. So uh, hopefully, what she was able to do today will be a great example for our other perimeter players on how to get to the free throw line. You put Dominic Golightly at the four today because it's a smaller HPU uh, team. She goes for a double-double, 16 points and, and 10 rebounds. What did you think about Dom, and what did she have to say about playing the four? I, I thought Dom played a really good game today. Uh, she called for a sub a couple of times, and she hasn't done that the whole season. And so playing the four is hard. It's hard work, and especially, yeah, absolutely. And against a team pressing, uh, our fours are inbounders, and so you're running baseline to baseline. Uh, but I told them before the game, there's no reason not to exhaust yourself. Every time you're out on the floor, we got the day off tomorrow, don't have a game for a week. And so if, you're, if you've got energy after the game, you know, you've, you've cheated us. So exhaust yourself. And uh, we had several players call for subs today. And, and to me, that's not weakness. That's, you know, just giving your very best effort while you're out there and letting us know when you need a breather. How about the play of your, your uh, El Paso point guards, Pam Herrera and Kayla Galindo, really creating some havoc defensively, it looked like. Yeah, they, they did a great job. Uh, Kayla helped us start the game off pretty well. Um, she earned a starting role this week uh, just with her play in practice, and she, she did a great job helping us get the game started on the right foot. And she and Pam on the floor at the same time was a pretty good lineup for us today. They, they did well offensively, and against the press, we, we had two and sometimes three point guards out on the court in the second half, and so it, it benefited us to have them on the floor at the same time. One of the things you do when you're crafting a non-conference schedule, especially against the non-division ones, is, is don't you want to see them test you in certain ways that you're going to see in conference? We know Lamar is going to do this and other teams in the conference. They will press you for all 40 minutes. That was important to see that, wasn't it? Absolutely. I mean, I, 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 think, I knew that Howard Payne would come in and play really hard, and we expected them to turn up their defensive intensity in the backcourt, and, and it was a good, good experience for us to see that. We haven't seen any pressing this year, so that was good for us. Now you turn up the academic intensity, finals next week, right? That, that, this is really important. These are student athletes. We, we watch them on Saturdays and, and other game days, but this is a, a huge few days for these players, isn't it? Well, I, I get questioned a lot about the lack of game experience that our team has, you know, being uh, w having nine freshmen and sophomores. Well, they have a lack of experience going into finals week two. You know, we've got five yeah. players going into this week uh, for the first time. And, and there's a lot of pressure and uh, we put a lot of pressure on them to excel in the classroom and so uh, we're, we're not going to have team practice every day we're going to work on some individuals this week to allow them some time to kind of recover mentally and physically from basketball but just to help them be sharp academically so that they can excel in their exams big win ACU 88 46 over Howard Payne a week off and then back at it at Moody against Midwestern State next Saturday